I've always felt we still need a target. I mean, I start with an LDL level, and I'm going to say, where do I want to get it? It's going to vary from patient to patient, on, depending on how low it is to start with. And so the problem is the statins, because they're not well tolerated, plus some of them just aren't quite effective enough, and the patient has such a difficult problem, is to have an additional powerful medication for the highest risk patients, which is where these new medicines will have to be used, is going to be fantastic. This is a blockbuster medication as far as achieving the goal of getting the LDL down markedly. For those of us who believe that is a very important additional thing to offer the patient over and above the statins, which is of where, of course, where we want to start if the patient tolerates it. But I think we have some significant data uh, showing the benefit of the PCSK9 inhibitors and just backing that like anything that drops the cholesterol. We have data from years ago with just pure plays in lowering, and I'm talking about from, from 40 years ago, a pure play in just lowering the LDL is of benefit in reducing cardiovascular risk. I, I don't have any much question that they're going to be approved. I think the problem is going to become, is going to be, is getting them approved by the pharmacy benefits of the patient. And I think I'm very concerned that these pharmacy benefits companies are going to be very difficult as far as getting it approval. Now, it's my responsi our responsibility as clinicians to make sure we don't prescribe any very expensive new f medication unless we can show that everything has been tried and this patient is an extreme risk and we need to get the LDL down. But when that occurs, then I expect to be able to get it approved, and I will take drastic steps to try to support that with the patient if that becomes necessary. So having a whole group of other approaches now, uh, and I can see fighting battles with pharmacy benefits companies with the patient who simply will not tolerate a statin, then I want something else because they're at extreme risk. This could be very important.